So guys, the World Slayer Outriders DLC stream reveal not long ended and today I will bring you everything you need to know from the stream, more details and what you saw. If you missed the stream, don't worry guys, I have you covered right here today. It looked pretty incredible, I wasn't really optimistic about it to be honest, but hey guys, I think we're going to be back with Outriders. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay guys, so yes, the World Slayer DLC for Outriders is actually game changing. So many things have changed, it is going to be like a new game. We have a new campaign, new enemies, new environments, new gear, new class trees, a new system called the Ascension system. We have a new weapon system called the Apocalypse system, with the opportunity to add a third mod slot to certain weapons, new end game and much more. Today we get into it all. So let's start with the new campaign, new enemies and new environments. So the Outriders World Slayer introduces a brand new standalone story campaign that you can jump into even if you haven't even played the original story guys. The new campaign will focus on the Outrider facing up against Erish Kagal, the commander of a new human faction called the Insurgents against the backdrop of Enoch's climate undergoing cataclysmic changes. Erish Kagal may well be considered the first Altered. Throughout the world, Slag will of course also be travelling to new locations and we'll see some of these new locations guys over the coming days via press coverage. Now World Slayer will introduce new enemy variants as well as some entirely new adversaries and bosses. Okay so what about the new gear? Outlander's World Slayer will of course introduce a host of new gear uh, both in terms of weaponry and armour. Each class will be getting a dedicated new 5 piece legendary armor set. World Slayer also introduces uh, a new 3 piece legendary armor set which will be universally equipable by all classes and these will have their own set bonuses as well. Now some of the previous legendary armor sets and mods will have been reworked as part of the World Slayer launch. Now each new legendary piece introduced in World Slayer also comes with a new mod. And they are planning to show off some of these special gear pieces via their social channels. So if anything new drops guys, I'll have you covered right here on my channel as well. So what about the new Pax class trees? So World Slayer introduces a new class tree called the Pax tree. The Pax tree is a separate class tree from the existing tree branches you're familiar with and it requires its own Pax points to activate nodes within it. Pax points are required at certain points in World Slayer that are based on general progress rather than a specific level grind. The Pax tree itself is comprised of two branches for each class through similar to the main skill tree, these are interlinked. Each node in the Pax tree is equivalent to the major nodes in the original class trees. So every choice you make in a Pax tree will be impactful to the performance of your Outrider. Just like the main skill tree, the Pax tree can be freely respect. The idea behind the Pax tree is to allow players to either specialize further into a specific direction or to better enable hybrid builds. The branches of each Pax tree are called for the Pyromancer, we have the Gunblazer and the Pyromaniac. For the Technomancer, we have the Desolator and the Overseer. For the Devastator, we have the Wrecker and the Tectonic Shifter. And for the Trickster, we have the Spectra and the Exploiter. The Pax tree will unlock at level 30 after you start playing the World Slayer campaign. So what about the Ascension system? So World Slayer introduces a new long-term progression system called Ascension. The idea of Ascension is to give your continued play an ongoing next level to work towards alongside regular play. Continued Ascension by itself does not unlock or gate better uh, gear or content, but it's purely designed to make you stronger. The Ascension system is currently balanced so that it would take you 100 plus hours to fully complete it. Leveling up Ascension is done by controlling experience from killing enemies. It is only available from character level 30 onwards and with World Slayer installed. XP earned after level 30 will go towards Ascension levels which in turn provide you with Ascension points. You will be able to invest your Ascension points into any of the 4 Ascension categories Brutality, Endurance, Prowess and Anomaly. Each of these categories have 5 options in which to invest. For example, you could invest your points to reduce your cooldown, increase your life, 
or resistance or output more damage. Each option in each category can have up to 10 ascension points invested into it. You can reach a level 200 ascension in World Slayer for a total of 200 ascension points. At 200 ascension points, you'll have completely filled out each option in each category. You can mix and match where you invest your points and you can always really respect your ascension point distribution. Like the newly introduced Pax Tree, Ascension is intended to allow players to either supercharge a specific build or to better create a hybrid build that works across multiple playstyles. Okay, so the Apocalypse system and the third mod slot. As a reminder, the tier system in Outriders allow each player to fine tune the difficulty of the game under their own needs. Higher tiers mean higher difficulty, but also improve rewards and the ability to equip higher level gear. Outriders World Slayer introduces a new apocalypse system that heavily impacts your max gear equip level, the difficulty tier system, and most importantly, loot. Challenge tiers are being replaced by apocalypse tiers. This change will affect all versions of Outriders, even if you do not have World Slayer installed. Apocalypse tiers will determine not just the difficulty and reward scaling of expeditions, but also of the World Slayer content, campaign, and in game. Apocalypse tiers will go up to a tier 40 and will act as a natural extension of world tiers which do still remain in place for the original Outriders campaign. The original Outriders campaign can however be played using Apocalypse tiers instead should you have World Slayer installed. The max Apocalypse tier you can unlock by completing Expeditions content in a base game without World Slayer installed is 15. With World Slayer installed you can still play Expeditions to continue unlocking higher Apocalypse tiers above tier 15. At Apocalypse tier 15 your max gear equip level will still be uh, level 50 as it currently is. At Apocalypse tier 40 your max gear equip level will be 75 which is a new gear level cap. When playing above a certain Apocalypse tier, there will be a chance for Apocalypse gear to drop. Apocalypse gear pieces are special variants of epic and legendary gear pieces in the game. Apocalypse gear pieces have three mod slots. Apocalypse gear can currently only be obtained through drops, it cannot be crafted. You can identify Apocalypse gear by a special icon when hovering over it. Pretty cool. So end game. While Apocalypse tiers do cross over into Expeditions content, Outriders World Slayer will actually be introducing its own dedicated endgame, an endgame that World Slayer has actually been specifically designed around. The campaign in World Slayer will take you to the ancient city of Tara Greatar, the cradle of the Pax civilization, where the trial of Tara Greatar awaits. But more details guys on the new endgame from World Slayer will come very soon indeed. Now in regards to price of this it seems as though on last gen so PS4 and Xbox One the cost of this will be about £35 but you do save 10% if you pre-order. The next gen version seems to be almost £55. Again if you do pre-order you will save 10%. If you do pre-order guys, you get to play this game or this DLC 48 hours early. So it really is guys the price of a full game. The game releases on June 30th, 2022 by the way, if I didn't mention that earlier. But hey, there we go. But there we have it guys. Everything we know so far about Outriders World Slayer. If any more details drop in the game guys, I'll have you covered right here on my channel. Which I'm pretty sure will do over the next coming weeks. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.